Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today I have another 3D design for you. So, if you know me and my wife, you know that we are huge Gears of War fans. So, Gears of War 4 comes out later this year, and it had a beta that just ended. And I've also been telling my wife I was going to 3D print her something Gears related um, for a while now. So, I figured this was the best time to do that. So, I decided to go with the Gears of War 4 logo, and I'm just going to make a little plaque. Actually, one of the big reasons I decided to do this now is due to simplicity. Um, this just happens to be one of the busiest weeks of the year for both my wife and myself, so I needed something that wouldn't be too hard to design, print, and wouldn't be too hard for her to post-process. So I grabbed an image of the Gears of War 4 logo online and opened it up in paint.net so I could separate the necessary pieces. And I wanted each color to print in its own section. That way you could print them out in that color and just assemble it. So really all I had to do for this logo was separate the skull from the actual letters of Gears of War 4. And then after I did that, I exported them. And then I used my conversion technique to get them from an image to a 3D object. If you want to know more about that, check the little video right here. And then I loaded the files up in Tinkercad. A good portion of the design work was done here, so I just needed to make everything fit together. I created a little back plate, and I, and I left the skull overhanging a little bit because I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, and then I just wanted this to snap together. I didn't want there to be any glue or anything like that, so I put little pegs on the backboard and holes in all of the lettering and the skull um, in hopes that they would just press fit together. And once I had all that created, I sent it over to my Robo 3D R1. I printed it in white Hatchbox PLA, um, just because that was the only thing I had on hand. And if you're looking to do this, um, I split up the files into three, so you can print the backplate in one color, the letters in another color, and then the skull in yet a third color. I printed them at 0.3 millimeter layer height, and you won't need any supports or anything like that because there are no overhangs or curved surfaces. Um, it's just straight up, so very easy to print. And then after it was finished printing, I handed it off to my wife for our painting. Um, and like I said, if you printed these in different colors, you don't need to do this step. Um, but basically all she did is she took a sponge and some water-based acrylic paint and then just dabbed on the colors. And she chose a sponge over a brush just because the, br the sponge leaves a nicer finish, whereas the brush, you can see the brush strokes. And then after that, all that was left was to snap it all together. And then this is the final result. As you can see, that looks really nice. Now, if you wanted to take a little more time on here and sand the surfaces, then paint it and put some sort of an epoxy over the top of it to make it really smooth and shiny, that is something you could do as well. But this suited us well for our interests. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know it wasn't the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, it was rather simplistic, but like I said, that was due to us being pretty bu busy this week. Um, so I needed something simple, and this was that. As always, guys, these files are available. Links are down in the description. And then if you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. And then if you thought this was cool, make sure you like the video and get subscribed if you're not already. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, guys, that's all for me. See you next time.